welcome to BrainScan, the liveliest live stream new comic book day preview on the interwebs. We are one host down, but that's okay. It just means Katie's got to bring twice the hype. <laughs> it's a fade hey. out. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Brain Scan, where we will scan our shelves and show you all the new comics hitting the shelves this week, Wednesday, October 9th? I don't know. 10th? 9th? We need Shay. Where's Shay at? Oh my god, what day is it? I've been on uh. vacation, I don't know what day it is. It's, uh, it's Last week, the was eighth, the, uh, the, week, so the, the, the ninth, the ninth. Yeah, that's it. Today's <laughs> sorry, the folks, for the confusion. Wednesday, October 9th, 2019. <laughs> I am Katie. For those loyal watchers, you can see I am missing my co host Shay. She'll be back next week, but I also have my helper Dan fact checking me. <laughs> <laughs> but always be feel, feel, always feel free to correct us in the comments. <laughs> What's on the new shelf? Let's look at some new comics and magazines. On our magazine rack, we have back issue number 116, uh, Monsters. Nothing like giant monkeys. Monsters in Metropolis. Superman's scariest battle is with a giant monkey. Mm-hmm. He's got kryptonite eyes. Oh. Ghosts. Classic monsters of pre-code horror comics, just in time for Spooky Halloween. From our friends at Yo Books. Yo, yo. Close personal friends. Yeah. And now onto the new comics. Starting with Battle Pug number two. Ooh, they wanted to get out in advance of Christmas this year. Wow. And we awesome. got a B cover oh. that is equally colorful. Aww. And much more pony -rific. It's very pony -rific. Black Hammer Justice League, number four of five. Bunch of cool covers. Francisco Francovia, Tyler Crook, uh, that person, and more. And the rest. <laughs> Blade Runner 2019, number four. Somebody thought this was Paul Pope, but it's Raphael Albuquerque. Oh. One more. Coffin Bound, number three. Ooh, a lot of buzz on this book. One and two sold great. Oh, uh, number three is on the shelf tomorrow. <laughs> Up on our top shelf, we have Black Hammer 45, the trade paperback. Big Black Hammer week. Also, Blossoms 666, trade paperback. Very interesting horror project from Archie Comics. Back down to our... Ooh. Periodicals, we have East of West, number 43. Hey folks, if you've been wondering what John Hickman's been doing between his Marvel projects, he's been slowly putting out this East of West book. It's almost done. It's awesome. Edgar Allan Poe's Snifter of Terror, season two. That's Nazi punching. The one where he punches a Nazi. <laughs> and up on the top. The Damnation of Charlie Wormwood. This is a new printing of this graphic novel, which is written by our friend and retailer, <gasps> Christina Blanche. That's right. And it's put out by hey, our pals at Source Point Press. Wonderful. Also with this nice cover by Francisco Francovia. It's a Francovia Wicca. It's a Francovia Wicca. <laughs> Ooh, let's not forget Floppy Cop, Volume 1. Keep on flopping. With a swell cover from... Jay Foskett. In the classic uh, crumb style. Keep on trucking. Keep on flopping. Keep on flopping. House of Whispers, number 14. Ooh. Ooh. Very creepy cover. Ice Cream Man, number 15. Uh, that's by series artist uh, Michael Morazzo. Check out that B cover. This cover reminds me a lot of, of the original Shade, the Changing Man oh, series. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, very cool. With all the checkers and swirlies and colors. <laughs> Jughead, The Hunger versus Vampironica. It's a Dan Panosian cover. There's a couple more, but we sold out of them already. Whoops. Issue five. People have been grabbing it up. Livewire, number 11. 
Uh, this is a Chris Anka cover. Got a Tula Lote. Ooh. And one more from somebody else. That's awesome. Awesome. Moving on over. Oblivion Song, number 20. A lot of buzz around this Kirkman book now that Walk, Walking Dead's done. Oh, yeah, you got to get your Kirkman fix somewhere. Kirkman fix. Kirk Kirkman fix. Outer Darkness, number 11. There's your snifter full of horror right there. Snifter full of horror. Pretty Deadly, The Rat, number two of five. Reaver, number four. From uh, Skybound. Yeah, beautiful cover by Becky Cloonan. Ooh. Redneck, number 24, from Danny Cates. Or Donnie. Donnie Cates. Meh. Good one. I was just seeing if you were on your toes. Oh, I'm on my heels. Samurai Grandpa, number four of four. Double size final issue. Whoa. Get him, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> A second print of Sea of Stars, number two. Very fun series. The Vault of Sham, number five. Yeah. <laughs> Shoplifters will be liquidated. Awesome. It'll be okay. Is this a new number one? That's a new number one from Aftershock. Sonata, number five. Uh, a and B covers by series artist Brian Haberlin. Oh, smooching. Smooching on the cover. Okay, get ready for the guesswork. Oh my goodness. It's the record-breaking Spawn 301. This is the A cover <laughs> by Todd McFarlane somebody. Somebody. Uh, Jason Alexander, also Todd McFarlane. And somebody else, uh, Greg Capullo. Uh, uh, Jerome Pena, uh, also Todd McFarlane. And a virgin trade list. Oh, uh, and uh, uh okay. mm -hmm. yeah, very cool, creepy. Mm. Oh, and they just keep going. J. Scott Campbell. Whoa, oh, one more, one more upside down. Oh, it's a misprint. No, it's just upside down by Alex Ross. Ooh. Look how detailed, look how Ross like. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And going up to the top while Katie's putting that stack back together, we got an original graphic novel, new printing of Pug Davis by uh, blah, blah, Rebecca Sugar, creator of uh, What's His Nuts? Um, the cartoon thing. Um, puppy dog? Cat? No, the, uh, the one that Shay's always playing the music from. Oh, Steven, uh, Steven Universe. Universe, right, right. Oh, that dog is so laid back. One more on the top shelf here. Oh, we got uh, Sandman 30th Anniversary. New volume of volume eight. Is that volume eight? This is Overture. Oh, Overture. Burp, burp, burp. With a new cover by series... <gasps> Cover That's artist, right. Dave McKean. That is a beautiful cover, and also J.H. Williams the third, Beautiful on the inside as well. And going back down. These Savage Shores, number five. Thumbs, number five of five. Triage, number two of five. Got an A and B cover here. That's a lot of fives. Looks like a floppy bunny ear type Ooh. guy. I haven't read any of this yet. It looks fun. Trout. Troy Nixie's Trout. Four of four, four. of four, all done trout. On Earth, number four. Really from Cullen gross Bun. horror from Cullen Bunn. Ugh. Ugh. Boily dog. Boily dog. <laughs> Dogs aren't supposed to be boiled. <laughs> Yusaji Ojimbo, number five. Vampirella, Red Sonia, number two. Another beautiful cover from Tula Lote. Ooh, Ooh, David Mack. And Babstar. Nice. Got another one. That's it. Very pretty. And, and one last book up on the top. Wrapping up our action adventure shelf with A Walk Through Hell, Volume 2, Trade Paperback. Boy, this is the most abstract and tense of horror book from Garth Ennis. Very cool. 
Nice. And that does it. Anyone we need to say hi to? Let's say hey to uh, uh, oh. Disorientation. Let's say hey to J. Dub Williams, who was on it with uh, Steven Universe. Right on. Nice. Uh, Philip Little's very excited for Livewire. Stay very and also, uh, J. Dub Williams was on it with today's date. Oh, right on. <laughs> I'm glad somebody knows what date it is. Watch your step. <laughs> watch your step there, Chippy. I'm gonna walk backwards so, until I run into something. Speaking of, Katie just got back from a trip. <laughs> just now. <laughs> Have a nice trip. See you next fall. <laughs> Moving on to our indie graphic novel shelf. We will start with the Handbook to Lazy Parenting by Guy Delisle. I love that cartooning. Commute, an illustrated memoir of female shame. Mm. Oh. From Aaron Williams. Here's an exciting book. Ginseng Roots. From Craig Thompson. Who's what? that? And looky, folks. It's like all pamphlety with staples and everything. Holy, what the what? Ooh, another classic. Ooh, Eleanor Davis brings us The Hard Tomorrow. Beautiful. Hardcore Anxiety, a graphic guide to punk rock and mental health from Reed Chancellor. Chancellor. <laughs> Sandra on the Rocks, Volume 1. Let's go down. Mm. Yeah, let's go over here, sure. Plummet. That's all I get from this. Uh, from Tuya. From Conundrum Press. Conundrum. Qualification from David Heatley. A graphic memoir in 12 steps. <gasps> here's, here's an a, interesting one. Here's what I'm excited about. Rain, volume one, from Mary and Brian Talbot. Eisner winners. <gasps> well deserved. The Twilight Man from, from <laughs> Rod Serling and the Birth of Television. I'm excited about this, too. So many things I'm excited about. Why comics? From underground to everywhere. By Hilary Shute. And I believe this is not necessarily a comic, but more of a book book. Yep, more of an academic comics. text. And going down to the bottom here. Zombillennium. Double hardcover volumes one and two. Yeah, now we got the whole thing in stock, folks. Sweet. Pretty. Things to do instead of killing yourself. Seems like there should be a long list of things. It seems like it would be longer than just that little book, but good start, Tara Booth. Thought Bubble Anthology, 2019. Bringing all the cartoonists together from the Thought Bubble Festival over in Amsterdam? Uh, I think it's Manchester. Manchester? Oh, well, close. <laughs> it has some of the same letters in it. <laughs> And that wraps up our graphic novel shelf. <laughs> As we swing around to this side of the store, I will show you all the variant comics that we're getting. The variant covers. This will also be a sneak preview of some Marvel stuff. We got Amazing Spider-Man, number 31. It's a codex variant from Terry Dodson. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is just a version... Virgin cover of the A cover, right? Yes. I'm really excited to read this book. This, this is, is Powers of Ten, number six of six. Absolute Carnage, Miles Morales, number three, Codex variant. Ooh, pretty. This is one that we were supposed to get last week, but didn't get till this week. Vampire State Building. And more importantly, it's glow in the dark. What? Just in time for Halloween. Dr. Doom, number one. That's kind of a cool cover. Yeah. Oh, man, I can't remember the... Uh, Simone Bianchi, I th think, is the art. I like it. Dr. And, Doom, another variant. And that's Mike Diodato. Star Wars, Jedi, Fallen Order, Dark Temple, number three. Star Wars, Allegiance, photo cover. I think this is the story leading into the next movie. Ooh, what's this? Buffy? This is Hellmouth, number one, uh, one in 25 variant. Cobra Kai, number one variant. And this is the one in 10 variant. Sweet. All right, now let's check out some events. Let's stay on this side. <laughs> Try 
try. Coming up on our action-packed uh, fall, <laughs> we have our monthly open board game day on Saturday, October 12th, always the second Saturday of the month from 1 to 4. Come in and check out some demo games or play any of our library of games. We have our recurring, our newly recurring event, Laughs in the Lair, live stand-up comedy in our secret lair, Friday, October 18th from 7 to 9 p.m. And our other monthly event, Brain Candy, which is live readings, music, and art, will be on Monday, October 21st from 7 to 9 p.m. All of these events are free! Also, coming up on Saturday, October 26th, Halloween Comic Fest. Hooray! This is a free event, kind of like a mini free comic book day, where we'll have free Halloween comics for everybody that comes by. We'll also have special guest Dirk Manning and Scoot McMahon. That's him. In. That's them. Showcasing their new comic. Uh, Dirk something and the something Cthulhu. Man. Sorry, dude. We should have had that like prepped. I just it. checked it in. I got a million names in my head. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> so come on by for Halloween Comic Fest and check out all of our cool fun stuff. Right. While Katie transitions over, I'll head over to the new shelf and say hey to, uh, let's see, apparently J-Dub Williams is, his real name is Julian, so hey Julian. Um, Philip Little is excited about Powers of Ten, aren't we all? Oh, so good. And uh, Norman Kaczynski's watching. Hey, Norman. Hey. Thanks for watching. Welcome. Let's see what's over on DC here. From DC, we have Detective number 1013. Beautiful Doug Monkey cover. And uh, maybe Matina? I think so. And this is part of the Deceased Variant Cover Month. Where's Shay when we need her with these cover names? Batman Universe number four of six. Beautiful Nick Darrington cover. 100 page Batman Giant. Wow. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Uh, I can't remember who did the cover. It's these guys right here. Those guys. Eddie Barrows. Coop, Brent, it's more. Yeah. Eber this is Ferreria. Uh, this does feature some <laughs> some new material along with some classic reprints. And it's 100 bucks. 100 pages. <laughs> 100 pages for five bucks. Wow. What a bargain. Batman and the Outsiders, number six. Tyler Kirkham cover. And uh, deceased variant, yeah. Is that a Sedgwick cover? It's mm. chunky butters. Hmm. The Batman's Grave, a uh, brand new series from Warren Ellis and Brian Hitch. Ooh. With a variant, oh, very nice variant. Dream Hangelman, Dream Hangelman. I'm just gonna pronounce everyone's names and how their signature looks. Mm hmm. Moving on. Batman Razagul, number two of six. By awesome star legend Neil Adams. Adams. Cover by Neil Adams. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Let's, well, go over, let's go back over here. Let's get okay. this. Collapser, number four of six from DC's Young Animal Line. While we're on the top shelf, hey, we got another Dollar Comics uh, first issue reprint. Of the Watchmen. Right on. Or just Watchmen. There's no the. Watchmen. 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 Catwoman, number 16. Joel Jones cover. And a somebody something cover. It's a... Uh, Vic. It's Vic. It's Vic. Yvette Leviathan, number five of six. Alex Maleev cover. And another amazing David Mack cover. The Flash, number 80. They should make issue 80 a 80 page giant. Right. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be great. This one's by Sandwalk and uh, Rafa Sandoval. Snurf. And, yep. That one. I don't even see Another a deceased variant cover. Gotham City Monsters Rage of the Red Phantom. That's Number a two. Philip Tan cover, I of believe. Of six. Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Number two of six. Oh, all kinds of ooh. swell covers here. And uh, ooh, we got a C cover as well. Oh. Look at all those awesome covers. Oh, those are cool because they match. 
They're wearing earmuffs. And that's by Jim Jam. Jim Jam. Hawkman, number 17. Uh, deceased variant cover by that person. <laughs> the Joker! Year of the Villain! Uh, this is written by the legendary John what? Carpenter. That's crazy. Black Hammer Justice League, number four of five. Yeah, we showed you those covers over on the Black Hammer spot. Yeah. Justice League Odyssey, number 14. Ooh, very cool deceased variant cover. From Perillo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good one. Ruby. I could read his oh, signature. Ruby number one, based on the hit animation animated series. Uh, this also features interior art by Mirko and Dolfo. Nice. Going blah, blah, up blah. to the top. Harley Quinn, trade paperback, volume three, The Trials of Harley Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Joker Harley, Criminal Sanity, uh, from DC's Black Label. This features covers by artist Miko Suyan and Mike Mayhew. Ooh, and oh. a black and white version. Oh. That's uh, Miko Suyan as well. So many covers. Secrets of Sinister House, number one. 80 Page Giant. Just in time for Halloween. Eight Nightmares from the Comics Most Twisted Talent. Is that all new material? I believe so, yeah. Ooh. Supergirl, number 35. Ooh, look, I think that's Cully Hamner. Uh, deceased variant cover. Superman, number 16. Oh. The Super Sons Return. We're back together. Together again for the first time. This one's by Ivan Tr Tritus and Rice. Joe Fredo Sink. <laughs> oh. Moving on. 100 page of Villains Giant. Look at that cool Riley Rossmo cover. Nice. Wonder Twins, number eight of 12. And wrapping up our DC shelf, last but not least, oops. Uh, Wonder Woman, number 80. Another number 80. We already we, sold out oh, of, the B, of the A cover. We got oh. the B cover. This doesn't look like it, but it's by Jenny Frison. Wow. Creepy. Yeah. That wraps up our DC shelf. Now we're going to move on over to the Marvel shelf and show you what's coming out from there. Anybody else we need to uh, say hi to you? Well, J Dub, I mean Julian wants that uh, Harley Quinn. Yeah. We want to sell it to you, man. <laughs> Web of Black Widow, number two of five. Bloop. Uh, very cool Mary Jane cover. Bloop. Variant. Bloop. Uh, Absolute Carnage, Miles Morales, number three of three. And a second print of number one back in stack. Bloop a doop. Bloop a doop. Oh, more covers? Well, we got a Clayton Crane oh. cover and a DNA. Uh, David Na Nakayama. I remembered. She would be proud. Aww. <laughs> we also got a second print of Absolute Carnage Scream number two, as well as a second print of Absolute Carnage Symbiote Spider-Man number one. And that is a one-shot. Age of Conan Valeria. Valeria is going to go to the gallery. <laughs> number three of five. Contagion, number two of five. With this second cover of a big giant fist. That art cool. looks familiar. Yeah, I think that's one of these covers is by Ryan Brown. Mm. Mm. Different Ryan Brown. Different Ryan Brown. Doom Patrol, or <laughs> Dr. Doom, number one. And check out this beautiful B cover <laughs> by Cliff Chang. That's awesome. That's that. Only because another Marvel book just recently had that spoof cover. Gwenpool Strikes Back, three of five. Hulk Trade Paperback, Incredible Origins. Immortal Hulk, Director's Cut, number five of six. Invaders, number ten. 
Loki, number four. With a Mary Jane variant. Oh, by he's a hero at last. Jen Bartel. Aww, so rainbowy. Miles Morales, Spider Man, number 11. We got a Mary Jane variant for that. Aww. I think that's by Peach Momoko. <gasps> the Magnificent Ms. Marvel, number 8. No variant on that one. Absolute Carnage, The Amazing Spider-Man, number 31. For some reason, they thought it would be appropriate to put a Mary Jane variant on this book. Oh. oh by Greg Smallwood. Very nice. Very nice. Pretty. Ooh, here's a facsimile edition of Amazing Fantasy, number 15. We got House of X, number 4, second print back in. If you're behind, now's your chance to catch up because, oh my god... This is it, the final issue of the series. Powers of 10, number six, with a million covers. There's the aforementioned regular A cover. Then there's that cover. There's the connecting cover. There's that cover again. And that might be it. I thought there uh, was another one. That's the Decades one. variant. There's the Wolverine guy. And that might be that. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That's the, uh, this is the foreshadowing variant edition. Oh, don't foreshadow any spoilers. All right, while Katie's moving over to the YA shelf, I'm just going to back up real quick because I realized that we missed a couple things. We got DC Superhero Girls new volume on the shelf tomorrow. That's exciting. Okay, back to the regular program. Ooh, yeah, there's this. Marvel Action Spider-Man number nine. And Mary Jane, or Spider-Man Loves Mary Jane volume two. I'm glad we didn't forget those also. No. That wraps up our Marvel and DC shelves. Now we're going to move on to our Star Wars and then the YA. We have Star Wars Allegiance. Number one. Is this a series or a one shot? I think this is a mini series that, uh, again, is a, again, is a lead up prequel story to the new movie. Rise of Skywalker. Star Wars Adventures Return to Vader's Castle, number two. Ooh, another beautiful Frank Avia cover. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Dark Temple, regular cover. And Star Wars Target Vader, number four of six. A big Star Wars week. Moving on to the YA shelf, we have the also aforementioned Hellmouth, number one of five. This is a special Buffy and Angel crossover event. Ooh. Got an A, B, and C cover. I'm so used to seeing that C cover, because it was on the cover of previews. Oh, that's right. Also the aforementioned Cobra Kai, the Karate Kid saga continues. And we got a photo cover on B. Issue number one. Oh, it's been a long road there, huh, Johnny? Mm. Uh -huh. Princess Revolution, graphic novel from Scout. Uh, this is the original graphic novel that was previewed in a one-shot a few months ago. Hmm. Ronin Island, number seven. We've got three covers on it this time. Ethan Young. Uh, and, ooh, I don't know, but it's cool. I like it. Win. Wizard Beach trade paperback. That was a fun story. And here's an original graphic novel. Whoa. Saban's Power Rangers, The Psychopath. Get that it? One. I got it. Get it? Get it? Let's see. We you got, got one anything? on that side? Yes, we do. Ooh, the highly anticipated Mooncakes. A lot of buzz so around this book. Cute. We've only got one copy left. Oh my it goodness. all got gobbled up, and it's already going to a second printing. What? Whoops. Um, mm -hmm. Truckus Maximus. Graphic novel. From first second. Nice. Moving over to our tween shelf. We got Wings of Fire, Volume 3, The Hidden Kingdom. Plants vs. Zombies, A Little Problem. Sure. Phoebe and Her Unicorn, Volume 10. Holy cow. Everybody loves Phoebe and Her Unicorn. Camp Midnight, Volume 2. That might be it. And that is it. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. That wraps up all of the new comics that getting the shelves this week.
Thanks for joining us on BrainScan. Tune in to our live stream every Tuesday at 6.30 on Facebook or watch later on our YouTube channel. Lift some weights? <laughs> so be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and be sure to click the little bell so you get notified every time we upload an episode. Stay up to date on all of our happenings. We are Green Brain Comics on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, but on Twitter, we are Green Brain CMX. We are spreading the love of comics and graphic novels from the heart of East Downtown Dearborn since 1985. Feed, Feed your, your brain. brain! At Green Brain Comics. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for staying tuned. Hey, Mike Hilly. Hey, Mike! Hey, Julian, thanks for hanging out. See everybody tomorrow.